let's learn how to use the West Bloomfield Library Catalog. You can access the catalog by visiting the library's website, wblib.org, then clicking on the catalog button. Or you can search for an item by typing in the search box and clicking on the magnifying glass. On the catalog homepage, you'll find lists of new materials. Click on the arrows to browse or click view all to see everything in a list. To search, type into the search box and press the enter key on your keyboard. As you start typing, suggestions will appear. You can select any of the suggestions or continue your search by pressing enter. Use the checkboxes on the left side to filter your search results. When you're done, click apply. In the new catalog, all formats appear in one listing. In this listing for the Nightingale, there are several formats to choose from. Book, ebook, large print, and book on CD. Click on any format to choose, and then you can check its availability or place a hold. Click on any item to see a description and its location on the shelf. To place a hold on an item, click on Place Hold. If you're not logged in, you'll be prompted to log in with your library card and last name. Once you're logged in, choose a pickup location from the pop-up menu and click Confirm Location. For digital items, click on the ebook or e-audio tab, then on Check Availability to be taken to the Cloud Library, Hoopla, or OverDrive website where you can check out digital items. Once you've clicked on an item, scroll down on the page to see related items and authors that you may also be interested in. Click on any item cover or author photo to see more. Save items for later. You can save items for later by clicking on the bookmark icon that says for later. Then you can add it to a general for later list or create a list with a name. Find anything you save for later in the bookmarks tab at the bottom of the screen. Renew items online. To access your account, click on login at the top of the screen. Then click on sign in. Enter your last name and library card number, then click Submit. To see what you have checked out, click on the number above the word Checkouts. You can also access your checkouts, holds, and reading history from your bookshelf once logged in. To renew one item, click on the Renew button. To renew multiple items, click on Renew Items, then choose an option from the drop-down menu. Manage your holds. To view what items you have on hold, click on the Holds tab. From this screen, you can see your place on the holds list for each item and modify your hold status. You can change where you'll pick up your hold by clicking on Pick Up Location, then choosing an option on the next screen. You can cancel your hold using the Cancel Hold button, or freeze your hold until a later time by clicking on the arrow next to Cancel Hold, then choosing Freeze. Unfreeze a hold by clicking on the arrow button then on Unfreeze. Fines and Fees. You can see any fines and fees on your account by clicking on the Fines and Fees tabs. Fines over $1 can be paid on this page. Reading History. You can choose to have your reading history saved online. To opt in, click on the Reading History tab at the bottom of the page, then click on Opt in to Reading History. If you've already opted in, you can see all of your reading history on this tab. Happy reading!